So eyebrows were raised and the internet was left buzzing when Lenny Kravitz voiced his ongoing love for Lisa Bonet in a recent interview. So the public was left wondering if Lenny would attempt to spin the block now that her and Jason are broke up and some commenters were even happy to say that they would love to see the two back together. So with that being said, some people were wondering about the details of their past relationship and what had caused the breakup. So for a little background, the two first met backstage at a New Edition concert in 1985. At the time, Lenny was actually engaged to be married and Lisa was loosely dating someone at the time as well. Well, sparks would fly and the energy between the two of them could not be denied. So ultimately, him and Lisa would end up being more than friends friends and he would end up moving himself along with his instruments into Lisa's place. So my hair started matting and I was like, oh, I better, you know, do something anyway. And, and Lisa said, no, no, keep it. Looks good. And I started dreading. With being an actress on one of the most popular shows of the 80s, The Cosby Show, it did not come lightly and may have led to a few issues as well as Lenny was often called Mr. Bonet. Lenny did discuss this in a 1989 interview with the Los Angeles Times saying he understood why it happened and that she was famous and he was not. But soon enough, his first two albums would quickly rise him into stardom and he would quickly carry the status of being a sex symbol as well. They eventually married in 1987 and welcomed their daughter Dobie Kravitz one year later. Things would take a turn when Lenny went through a series of unfortunate events in his life, including deaths in his family and emotional things he was going through. But to make matters worse, there were rumors of alleged affairs, some even including pop star Madonna, allegedly, and groupies from his tours. Singer Nina Cherry would even put him on blast in a song called Buddy X. Nina Cherry was on tour with Lenny Kravitz, who was married to her friend Lisa Bonet at the time, and Nina had discovered that he was cheating on Lisa using the pseudonym Buddy X at hotels to check in. Due to the betrayal of her friend, Nina would write the song and expose his deception to the world. She pretty much felt that Lenny was a hypocrite, preaching one thing and doing another. In an episode of Oprah's Masterclass, Class, he would explain how the teachings of his father ultimately led to his divorce from Lisa. He explained that his father, Cy Kravitz, deeply loved his mother, actress Roxy Roker of the Jeffersons. However, their marriage came crumbling down due to his father's infidelity. His parents would eventually call it quits on their marriage, and before his dad made one final walk out of the door, he left his son with the message that a younger Lenny would regretfully come to fulfill one day. He said his father was getting ready to leave and move out and said, you'll do it too. And Lenny said this messed him up for a long time. He also talked about his infidelity and about how he struggled in the past with being confident that this is the person for me instead of always thinking something else may be better. Fast forward, him and Lisa would call it quits and divorced after four years in 1991. Lenny's song, It Ain't Over Till It's Over, was all about what had went on during their relationship. Lenny would tell Rolling Stone that he was heartbroken when they split and that he was in a tremendous amount of pain and the album was his way of releasing it somehow. The split was also painful for Lisa as well who discussed it with Nettie Porter in 2018 saying she experienced a spiritual transformation and tried her best to spare her young daughter any bitterness that could have came from the breakup. Over the years, Lenny would continue dating but not get married or have any kids. Lisa would start dating Jason Momoa in 2005 after they were introduced to each other at a jazz show. They would have two kids together and stay together for 16 years. However, in 2022, they would announce their split. Well, this drove their fans into a frenzy with them wanting Lisa Bonet to get back with Lenny Kravitz after the split was announced. 
So apparently the public have been feeling like both of them have been in love with each other for quite some time. And after the news came out about the breakup, Lenny even posted this post. I don't know about the timing. It could be coincidental or maybe not, but people were thinking it was about Lisa. So this all came about because the fans have always felt that Lisa and Lenny still love each other, mainly Lenny due to his past interviews. Zoe's mom and I were incredibly and deeply in love. It was a magical, magical relationship and a magical time in my life. She really helped to um, bring out the best in me and inspired me. It all really started when, when uh, I got married and I fell in love with my wife. And uh, she, she is like the female version of me. We're, we're almost like twins. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I saw myself in her. Yeah. And for the first time, I really got a clear look at myself through that. He had a lot to say in the People's Magazine interview, including the fact that he is what he is today because of their experience together, because of everything that he was and everything that she was and everything that came together. And I'm wearing this crystal jewelry that Lisa got me, a friend of ours, Amy, who's an artist, makes this jewelry. I still have a lot of it and still wear it. And we were quite the family. I mean, look at us, you know, um, we had our groove. Um, our expression, our fashion. It was a beautiful time, a beautiful time. He also said that she's a part of his life that will never leave his heart, soul, or spirit. I am what I am because of our experience. So the thing is, Lenny always speaks highly of her and their time together. They were young when they first got together, and it's almost like he had time over the years to think about everything and that he really loves and cares for her, as he always called her his soulmate. They always did have a crazy connection back in those days. At least it looked that way. He seems to be very remorseful of whatever went wrong in the relationship. Do you think there's a chance for them to spin the block? It seems like it's working for others, including Nelly and Ashanti and J-Lo and Ben. They definitely were the it couple in the late 80s and early 90s. Let us know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching Urban TV On Demand. And love can conquer